Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Salty Nerd Podcast, where we cover hot D. I'm joined, as always, by my fantastic panel of nerds. Dutch Butters is here. What's up, dude? Hey, man. What's going on? Um... <laughs> Yep, I was I was a uh, <laughs> I, I was a little bored. Yep, <laughs> I was a little bored this week. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Jude is also here. Hello. Uh, what's going on, Matthew Cage? I'm I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matthew Cage is here as well. Yes, I was very bored as well. Yeah. So this was a very boring episode. It was. And that was the salty nerd. <laughs> and that's a, that's a review. <laughs> Charles is also joining us. What's going Hello. on, man? And we have a new uh, backdrop. We have a new uh, a, a map of the area so yeah. we don't get confused about where people are and how long it takes them to get there. Well, you don't get confused. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did it for Dutch. Maybe we'll get we'll get a few less. You guys are so stupid. Yeah. In the comments. Yeah. All right. Well, Without, this is what I thought was going on. The, the, you know, they're so close together. They're, they're like, way closer than I, I thought. Can, they were. I well, can throw a rock across the water. Well, those <laughs> those parts. The, rest, those you know? parts of mm -hmm. the kings of Westeros are close. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where the majority of this season has been taken. Yes. I, I got this. I had this image in my head of you know. Um, Gendry. What's his face? <laughs> Uh, uh, still rowing. Still rowing, man. <laughs> Who's Christian Cole taking his army and marching, you know, mm, like thousand, 5, thousand miles. miles across the, the continent? No, no he went and up he the, just, he he went up the went river. The <laughs> yeah, by the time he got to Rook's Rest, they were marching for, what, three weeks? Something, Something like, like yeah. that. I don't know. It just okay. And they only had 1,500 men. That's what the guy on the but castle they, but said. They, but they combined, once they took Duskendale, and right. once they took, uh, I forgot the other, Rosby, then they had, I think, close to 4,000. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Not okay. I thought it was like 3,000. Or 3,000 could be. A couple thousand. More. They took some people. Not the most biggest army ever. Uh, all right, guys. So heavy spoilers, of course, for this episode. We're going to be having a good time talking about, uh, what episode is this? Episode five, the called Regent. Yes. Uh, I've noticed that for a failing of the hosting job, I have not actually been naming the episodes that we've been talking about. Rude. We've just been going into it. <laughs> what um, a fucking asshole. What a, what a oh. rookie move. It's almost like I haven't been doing this for five years. Mm -hmm. Matt's um, not going to make up for it. All right. This episode starts off. <laughs> this episode starts off. Did you see the thumbnail that I wanted to do this week? It's like, it was it. poking it with a stick. Can you please oh. do something? Oh, <laughs> Remember that's that? what you wanted. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about the other thing that we were talking about in the group chat. And I was oh. like, you cannot. <laughs> She's wearing the color for the small councils. She's wearing green yeah. again. Do you blue? notice that? It's blue. Turquoise. That's mm, it's a blue. Oh, that's, if you ain't dressed in black. You ain't black. You ain't. You ain't. On. I'm glad he said it. He's wearing white. He's wearing white. But his, you know. He's just trying to look back. I'm a maester. I will be a silent sister. Dude. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, All right. You know, oh, if, wait, oh, wait till we get to that scene. Yeah. If we, uh, if we did cosplay, I'd have to be one of those fat clan people. <laughs> Fat clan people? Tarleys or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you had me I was like, wait, what? He's he's a cool meister dude. No, man, you'd be the the Heron Hall guy. He's like, you'd be, be the Simon <laughs> I don't, don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. Okay. The duck is very good, sir. <laughs> no, it's not. Do you prefer the goose? <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into this episode. We open up. With the sea snake mourning the loss of his wife, and that is all he freaking does this entire season. Can just, blame him? He's, he's just losing mopey. everyone. He's just mopey. Mm. He's Look, Eeyore. He's lost everyone. I know, except but his like, granddaughter. have some rage or something. Just women. <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing too: is that because of how they shifted the situation, he can't necessarily blame Rhaenyra because. Everyone was telling her not to go. She wanted to go. Right. And, was and wasn't Rhaenys. his suggestion to it send... Was it was Rhaenys. Rhaenys was the one who said, I'm yes. going to do it. Yes. But he was there supporting her, though. Yes. Well, his granddaughter set him straight, and that's towards the end of the episode. Right, yeah. Well, well they have a conversation. But I'm just like, I, this character has his so much potential. His actual granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a great scene. Yeah. It was a really good scene. Like, yeah. this, this character has so much potential, and I'm just like, I'm constantly waiting for him to do something. And I'm like, man, come on, man. Can we get some, pirate, can we get some, can we get some pirate shit out of this guy? Can he just be out there? He, freaking... needs, he needs to put his big boy pants on. Yeah. And go do some Go do stuff. some shit. All his cool <laughs> shit has been done off screen. I know. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Off screen, I want to see this off screen, Bill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they use that a lot in this show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, and then right after that, we go back to um, where is where are we at? Well, we're, we oh, King's Landing. King's Landing. Okay, yeah, yeah. we start in King's the Landing. Dragon. We, we go to King's Landing, <laughs> and the people are looking, and all of a sudden, this motorcade comes through mm. with a decapitated dragon head, Rhaenys's dragon, whose name is Maylise, and they're they're just 
Oh, I know you sent me that. Yeah, yeah. she's got a breakdown of all the That's different dragons. I got, I got all the drag. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing, the thing about it is that what Kristen Cole was hoping yeah. it was clearly his idea, right? So he was let's hoping, show them how we defeated. But he, here's yeah. the thing: it goes back to this quote that Ivan Benko said mm -hmm. in Iron Man Two: <laughs> "When you make God nice bleed, reference. people cease to believe in Him, and oh. the sharks are coming." And you saw the people were just yeah, like, "This is a bad a omen. omen." This is these I, are. I thought these were gods. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we get Hugh the Hammer. He gets a quick scene in this, too, when he's like, yeah. well, this ain't good. Two yeah. really important things are happening right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Number one, they're showing the small folk that you can kill a dragon. Yes. And right. And the small folk are fucking starving. Yeah. yeah. Cole yeah. runs in like, yo, we won. And they're like, who fucking cares? Can mm -hmm. I have some yeah. bread? Cause, Did cause, somebody say, um, I thought they were gods. And didn't Hugh the Hammer say, I see meat or something like it's that? It's just meat. It's yeah. just meat. But Which is something like I think that's significant because they later on in the episode when they're like closing down King's Landing, everybody's like, "We want meat, we want food, dragon meat." I'm like, "Are they saying they're going to eat the dragon?" <laughs> so, so the thing also too with this is um, when it comes to how they're seen as gods, like again, it's like the last time any dragon, most people, the last time any pre dragon was killed mm -hmm. was when Aegon the Uncrowned went against uh, Magor right. when he was on Beleriand, and that was maybe 55, half a century before, more than half a century. Okay. So none of these people, and also then before that. None of this like, generation has yeah, ever seen this. And then before that, it was Meraxes getting killed by the Dornish. Right. And no one saw that outside of Dorne. So no one in King's Landing has seen that, or no one in this generation would have alive for that. So it's kind of like, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Um, okay, the other thing I want to talk about in this scene is this carriage that is behind the decapitated <laughs> dragon. Okay, the, for the- as fuck. Dude. dude. I thought legitimately, I was like, oh my God, they're carting Renice's that's body. That's what I first too. No way. That's I, so dark. I, I it was knew, like this, I knew it was I knew it was this shabby little rickety wagon with like tarps over it. They it's just like. moseying. I'm no, no, like. No, no, no. They would have they would have paraded her body if that was the case. Fair I, enough. Fair yeah. enough. I just thought that they were like, oh my God, that's Renice's body in there. But it was the freaking king. Mm -hmm. But it was How the, disrespectful was that? But you want to know that? why? Because they didn't want anyone to see him. I know, but they could have right. brought him in another way. This is true. <laughs> They, figure it's, they could have it's, snuck you know, him in. Yeah. Maybe it was expedient. Yeah. I mean, according to our beautifully um, made crafted map, map. <laughs> uh, it would have taken them like three weeks to probably get from Rook, Rook's Rest to King's Landing. So, okay. like, so like, was was Aegon just like in pain in, in that in that cart the whole time? Well, they yeah. thought he's in a coma for well, three weeks. Well, they probably were had a maester with them. Sure, probably taking care of them. They probably even took. Um, but, Rosby's but, but, but I mean, like he was still in his armor when they got him to, into his chamber. And yeah. Well, like a lot of that was melted into his skin. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I noticed I do... Eamon got back lickety split. Oh, well, that's well, he had, well, a, dragon. He had a dragon. Yeah. Right. Is that, he could have picked his brother up and, and think he, brought his he tried. And you know what? This is okay. This was my issue without going too far back. This has been my issue actually with the Greens this season is that. There's no brotherhood. There's no loyalty. There's no familiar. Yeah, they seem connection. to be infighting more they just than seem yeah. to hate each other. But so does the blacks, though. Yeah, because Damon's doing the same thing. But you've seen still more familial bonds, particularly with Jaceris and Rainier, which sure. we'll see later in the episode. Sure. But I just noticed throughout the season, it's just like even just the strategy that they had to attack Rainis. I'm like, why would you purposely injure your king when even though he's not the best dragon rider, he's still a dragon rider. Mm -hmm. That's still one of your more powerful dragons. Vagar is not enough against some of the more experienced dragons. Right. You know, when you have more than one. Vagar is fierce but, but old. But so. the, the, the reason that um, Aemon decided to injure his king is because, like, he was making a play for the throne. Sure. Because he knows though. he's next in line. It was still stupid, though. Because uh, it was just, like, again, it's just you're taking out a valuable dragon that could actually be in your favor. I, I, I feel like, Sorry. like, <laughs> a, yeah, I, I feel like Amon doesn't feel like um, his brother or his brother's dragon are actually an asset. Because, like, he's basically writing, like, the baddest, baddest, mm -hmm. baddest dragon. Like, it would take, like, two or three other dragons to take out Vagar. Well, Eamon thinks that he is a force to be reckoned with at this point. Yeah. He thinks he's Damon reborn. He thinks that he is Damon. And he thinks that he is equally matched against Damon. Nope. And he thinks there is no one tougher, there is no one stronger, and one day I'm going to fight Damon, and then it's going to come it's out like come I'm on. the shit. And, and th there was also that scene towards the end of the episode where basically um, Eamon's standing in front of the Iron Throne, and his sister shows up, and she's like, was it worth it? Mm. And you can just mm. see in his face where he, he's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say something? I was. Did you forget? But I kind of forgot. Now, I, my biggest issue with this series continues to be the weird time skipping 
How so? Like, was he, like you said, was he in that cart for three weeks as they marched home? Okay. Well, does it, used, I don't know if it takes used, three weeks. Used to his armor. Yeah. You, you know, I, I Yeah, like how long has he been sitting there injured? You know, we're, so, we look at the map. And festering. we so, got to go all the way around Brooks the Rest all the way down. Because they can't you go know, through the sea. They can't take a ship because the, there's know. a blockade. Right. So here's so a, it just it just seems very strange. There's just a lot of and, weird And why wouldn't Eamon put him on the back of Vagar and fly him to King's Landing as soon as possible? Right. So here, so here's another Kristen thing. Cole probably didn't trust him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dropped him, him, him in the Rooks ocean. Yeah. Oh, he fell off. So, My so bad. Here's, here's another thing to consider. When they were going to Rook's Rest, mm -hmm. they went to other places first. Yeah, on the way so there. Going yeah, directly it was not a straight line. They're going so it took three line. weeks the long about way. Yes. If they want to just beeline it straight from Rook's Rest to King's Landing, maybe a day or two? No. No. No? A week. No? A week. Maybe probably a week. a week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, they had to cut that dragon head off. They had to... That's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they also mentioned, I think they were... How'd they get that thing on there? <laughs> thing's heavy. Yeah. And then he's... Um, but yeah, I'll let you go. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, th yeah, there's all kinds of questions about why they did what they did. I think the show's just be like, yeah, look, we're back in King's Landing. Don't, don't worry about it. It's, is it important? But Gwen, no, but, but it does help with the continuity of the show to kind of explain why they're doing things. I think you, that's a great point about... Uh, Chris and Cole not trusting Eamon to take him on the dragon because mm. he legitimately like I'm going to give this guy I'm going to fly him to King's Landing you're going to drop him in the bay before you even get there and be like oh he died I couldn't I couldn't keep him I'm, and, you know another thing too is then Kristen was just like why are they so mad and, yeah. Gwayne, and Gwayne with all his privilege and weirdness he kind of got it he was yeah. like it was a Pyrrhic victory yeah yeah. Um, it was a it, interesting scene I think there was a lot going on and then the next, we, we cut to inside of King's Landing. Now we're carrying Aegon to his uh, his chambers, and we get the maester well, working there, on him. Well, there's also a quick scene with Allison and Aemon where she's just like, what the fuck happened? It's, oh, well, she knows I, what she happened. She knows. Immediately. She knows. Yeah, she sees the cat's yes. paw, and yes. he's, she's like, oh, this son of a I feel like this was <laughs> Allison's. Wow, I'm such a shitty mom. No, she still no. she remains to be a shitty mom in this episode. She, she she's so bad yeah. to her kids. I think she's leaning in though. <laughs> I think she has convinced herself up until now, like I did everything right, and now yeah. she's like, oh, oh yeah, um, not maybe, so much. Maybe did some things yeah. different that uh, maybe should have made them like each other a little bit more. <laughs> maybe yeah. I should have become man. friends with the with the. Uh, Targaryens. <laughs> the actual Targaryens. <laughs> she's, she's, she's like, these Targaryens, well, she, they're whack. The, there was <laughs> there's, a, nothing, there were, there's nothing my blood can do mixing with that's going to change. No, she's a high tower. She has no way, like she's an outsider compared to these right, people. Even though they're their kids. Yeah. Even though they are her kids, they still see her as like, you're not a Targaryen. You're not a Targaryen. You're not a First dragon of all, lord. you're a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is funny Second too. Second of all, you're a Targaryen. Because, or you're not a Targaryen. And you don't even have a dragon. Get the fuck out of here. She but, sides with the team who doesn't want Rhaenyra to be right. queen because yeah. she's a woman. And yeah. then and she she's surprised. Mad. Uh -huh. She's yeah. mad that surprised she doesn't have. Face. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have mean, that in my notes. Green Council. No girl. Was, <laughs> no girl. Was, ahead, was, was this Cole's and, and, and Eamon's plan all along? To get to, Aegon to, out to of the way? To Aegon. Not into, Cole. Not, Cole. not Cole's, but Aegon, yeah. Or Aemon, I mean. Look, he's playing along. He's playing. He along. knows exactly. But, but you have but you have to remember though the thing with Kristen Cole, he was in many ways a surrogate father to Aemon and Aegon mm -hmm. because right. he trained them, or at least he trained Aemon more so. But it's just like so. Why do you think his reaction to when he saw Aegon and his injury, yeah. aside yeah. from the fact that he feels he failed as king, that kid is like a son to him in some ways. Well, also remember the last episode; they were both shocked that Aegon showed up to that battle. Yes, it was not yeah, part of their true. plan. They were both like, "Oh shit." In the book, Aegon and Aemon go out together to do this battle. Yes. Okay. Um, and then at the end of it, Rhaenys is so uh, burnt up, she's unrecognizable when they Whoa, do Whoa, no yeah. way. Yeah. They, they, they didn't even mention anything about her in this episode besides just she died. She's dead. And so was the dragon. So they, they didn't like go and get her body. They didn't do anything. They did mention the fact, um, they mentioned that <laughs> basically they left a small, contin small group with uh, Sunfire to feed him and help him heal. Is he dead? I thought he was dead. Sunfire's not dead. Sunfire's not no. dead. Mm -mm. Okay, I got the He's impression. In the that same he... shape as the king. Uh, yeah, I got the impression. <laughs> I got the impression that he was. Yeah, he um, can't fly right now. In the book, sure. in the book, he had an injury to his wing, so he can't fly, so he can't get back to King's Landing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna heal at a weird angle, but that's all. I'll say. Well, they would be able to. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay. So the next scene we get is uh, Amond and uh, um, Allison. 
hovering over Aegon and the maester going in there and like like peeling Ugh. his armor off of his skin. Ooh. Very gruesome scene. Dragon fire is no joke. Yeah, yeah. And then you saw what they did with his hip, and I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah, no, yeah. They they put his bones back together and everything. Like he's it, like, this kid is messed up. The minute I, I saw those two silent sisters hovering, I was like, Get the fuck away. <laughs> Seriously, I was like, It's not time yet. No yeah. way. And the um, maester the witchcraft out of here. And how do you guys feel about Allison's reaction to all this when she was like, oh my, is my son going to die? And oh, she's like, L lady, I just got here. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, she, that was, and that was right after the scene where she looked down and saw a right. cat's paw on, on Eamon. And, yeah. And it's like, she's putting, putting things together in her head. And she realizes, I think at this point, she's, and here's toast. the thing, here's, here's, things are kind of fucked. Here's this thing, like Allison's an idiot is because if she had been smart she would have boosted Aegon's confidence, mm -hmm. used him mm -hmm. as a way to exert power over the small council. Instead, you kick him while he's down. Yeah, tell him he's useless and you sit down and shut up. And you refuse to even comfort him after his son was murdered. Yeah. It's just like, you moron. And then you get mad. Again, surprise Pikachu face. We don't want to win. Yeah. Uh, Allison <laughs> confronts Chris and Cole next. Uh, he's over there cleaning his sword with lemon and salt, I'm assuming. Uh, took the blood <laughs> off. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I'm looking, I'm like, that looks like lemon and salt. I guess that's how you clean a sword. I don't know. Uh, he, can't, he can't look her in the eye. You can get rid of rust with lemon and salt. Okay, Ooh. cool. Um, and she's basically trying to figure out, okay, what was Eamon's part? She's investigating like, okay, I have my suspicion. I think Eamon did this on purpose. Mm -hmm. She goes to Kristen Cole, I guess, to try to get some information and he's kind of just giving her the cold shoulder. Well, he won't and he, he won't, he won't, he knows that Eamon is now in control. Yeah. So he's Allison, he's siding with him in order to keep his place. And Allison <laughs> keeps overestimating her esteem with literally everything. And her intelligence. <laughs> She's like, what? Well, we've been fucking. You're on yeah. my side, right? Yeah. yeah. He, you're going to tell me the truth. And he's like, oh, uh, I didn't see nothing, lady. <laughs> you're just, he's, probably, you know, he's just probably like, the pie is good, she, not that good. She's yeah. just the dowager queen. Her time has come and gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you ever you ever like think back to uh, Queen Elizabeth in, in you know, Mm -hmm. And her mom was always the queen mother. The queen mother was there for years and she just was just kind of like there. But, but at the same once time, in a while, you know, when they did family photo ops, it's like she doesn't do nothing but sit around and sew all day. You know? it's <laughs> like, you know, but she, what she would do when she had the <laughs> chance is she would exert her influence when she needed to. Right. Through whoever is in power. Because mm -hmm. mm. they'll listen to me. I'm the mother. Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, Allison's an idiot. But anyway, we'll go. Yeah, it seems to be more and more the fact. Like, every time I watch her, I'm like, oh, that was a bad move. Like, yeah. she needs her dad to be there. Honestly, her dad probably would have been helping her navigate this whole situation way better. But that's gone now. Uh, we switch over. We're going back to Dragonstone. Uh, you haven't talked. Do you have anything to add, Matt? I'm sorry. You haven't even said anything. <laughs> he was bored. <laughs> he was, yeah, bored. He was that bored. <laughs> he was bored the whole time. This like, was a boring episode. It was very much Rhaeny so. Rhaenyra doing a lot of nothing again. A Ra yeah. Rhaenyra is back at her small council. This and these guys are just like, listen, lady. You suck. You suck at this. <laughs> this was this was Good. clearly, they spent a lot of money on the last episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, we needed to insert a lot of dialogue. Which is With, fine. And a, and a lot less, spend a lot less money on this episode. Like I'm some sure of the like most. Episode eight will probably be a big banger. That I'm, maybe, maybe. On. I'm just but saying, like, know. most of the time, if they have a lot of political maneuvering, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more interesting than right. this. This is just like a bunch of meetings. And there was some stuff going on. There's right. some stuff. There's some stuff. It was just oh, after I, after the last episode. Just send us this a PowerPoint. This, this is just kind of boring. A after the mid season kind of like reversal or mid season finale, I guess you could call it, which was last episode. They need to. They needed an episode to basically set the stage for you know the finale, right? right? The last four. And, and, yeah. And yeah, that's what this episode was. It was a lot of like setting the stage. It was a lot of maneuvering the pieces, and uh, hopefully by um, the penultimate or the finale, uh, we're going to get another banger. Here's something I, I agree with you, and I'm not trying to dog on the show at all. No. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Um, but comparatively, I'm I'm thinking of a scene from the original Game of Thrones show. It was an early seasons. I can't remember when, but when they had these intense not intense, but they just had to do like expedition dump after expedition dump in order to set something up. They would always put it in settings that were, that had a lot of movement. Mm -hmm. They would, they would like, okay, hey, Ned Stark, we got to go down to Littlefinger's brothel and go down there and like, I, and have like a dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's well, boring. Well, there's a lot of people, well, there's a lot of people really talking in the background. Or, or, right. <laughs> or, or the thing when Ned met, um, met with Tom, Ho, I forgot, Tom Ho. Bombadil. Pop. Tom Ho <laughs> Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Tom Ho Pot, who was the um he was the forge. 
He was the uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, and he was looking for the bastards, right? Yeah. And, and he's like, and he find out that Stannis and John Aaron had sure, gone down there. Sure. And then we find out, oh, Robert has a. Now there's a mystery. Now there's yeah. like the yeah. way that you Metal do. Smith, that's it. The way that you do a lot of these expedition dumps should be in a way of like, okay, yes, it's it's pure exposition and it's not exciting, but let's put it in a setting where people are doing things. Right. Whether it's Jace doing sword fighting, and he's yeah. practicing with his guards. Like, put them in a movement. Put them in something that's doing besides just sitting or, in a room or, together talking or you one know what? one. Sex position. There's nothing wrong I mean, with sex position. And this gets overused at times, <laughs> but yes, I agree. And, and um, or even like for instance, when Tyrion was trying to root out the uh, leak, who was leaking Cersei, and he showed him kind of they did this switch where he was talking to Littlefinger, yeah. talking to Varys, talking to um, Julian Glover's character Maester. You know who I'm talking about, old Maester. The old Maester. Yeah, Pycelle. Like the Pycelle, only thank you, Pycelle. The only time I can remember in the original Game of Thrones when it was just two people in a room talking, it was always uh, Tyrion, and he's the most interesting person to watch talk. Yeah. You know, because he but just the, has that way about. Finger and Varys had a lot of conversation. Yeah, yeah, but those two again, those two are very like conniving, yeah. interesting I can watch people to watch. Those two characters exactly go back and forth and talk all yeah. day long. Imagine but, Stannis's terror. And then for the for the more active roles, for the more interesting people that we want to see doing things, they were always practice sword fighting or they were feeding a dragon or they're just just doing shit. Daenerys mm. is wandering earth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the red, the red, so, red waste. Like, yeah. Var Varys is like uh, walking through like the um, the tunnels. Yeah. Or yeah. It's always a different like place. Setting so or the something. Same place. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm so fucking sick of this small council room. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I actually don't don't mind the quieter like people sitting around the table like talking about like I like the pol the, the politics mm -hmm. in the show. I mean I just feel like there was so little that actually happened after the high of the last episode right. that anything was probably going to be boring in comparison. But for the most part, like this was a necessary episode, but they could have done it with a little bit more flair. I mm. agree. Okay. I agree. All right. I got that out of my system. We're going to move on. And I hate <laughs> everything that's going on with Damon. Right? Oh, with what? really? Yeah. Damon. Okay. So he's his, I, his ayahuasca trip. I'm over it. No, hold on. Hold I'm on. Okay. It. Oh, Before yeah. we talk about Damon, I want to talk about Jace real quick because he has, I've paid zero attention to this kid at all for two seasons. <laughs> okay. This episode, I'm like, uh, he's, the heir. he's starting to get interesting. I'm like, <laughs> even the kid's acting, the way he has like these little weird smirks and he's got a very strong jawline. He looks, I'm like, this kid, he could go somewhere and it could be very interesting. Well, what's interesting is like he, he has all the strengths of the clubfoot and the Targaryens, but mm. he's not being allowed to basically. He's, he's very strong. I, I like that. He's That's very, very interesting. He's very strong. Yeah, yeah. Very strong character. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and, and also, and, uh, and also yeah. him and his boo, mm -hmm. his ride or die, they're scheming. Yes, which is good. I like that. Because I like he, seeing the younger generation start going like, look, we need to make some changes. And, and I think also specifically, he's just like, I get that I'm the heir, but I need to be doing something. And yeah. To, like, he is doing what his mother didn't do when she was his age. Right. Sure. Right. Basically, because yeah. that this is why Rhaenyra is in the, one of the reasons why she's in the issue she's in now is that she didn't, she wasn't brought between these high lords or these great lords or whatever. She mm -hmm. wasn't shown like making alliances like what we're going to see Jace do. Yeah. Okay. So Jace has a conversation with his wife or Not betrothed. Yet. Betrothed. Betrothed. And uh, they're kind of like, we need to do stuff. I'm, I'm sitting around twiddling my thumbs. This can't be, I need to be my, my mother's right hand man. I am her word, whatever. I'm going to go out there and, and make some waves. The and then he says, uh, don't tell her until after I leave though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we get back to the Riverlands. I think uh, with Damon, he's on his dragon, and he's trying to bring these two warring factions <laughs> this together. This was, the, this was the funniest bit of this entire episode. He's on his dragon. He's like, look, guys, <laughs> either you're going to fight for me or you're going to die with me you know, or or because of me. One of the I'd two. Rather die. And he's like, fuck you. <laughs> and he turns around and walks away. And this shot is really I cool. Literally said out loud, you're turning your back on a dragon. Turns his back on a dragon and the dragon lowers its head. Yeah, yeah. And it's slightly out of focus and I was like, like oh my god, they're going to kill him. And the next scene was great. Good. Because he's just like, I didn't know they wanted to die yeah. so bad. <laughs> No, no, he, he, was more, he was more like, I saw that going a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, so holy like, shit, they called my bluff. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's literally in my notes, Damon calling bluffs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah these guys are badass. The Brackwoods, what are they called? Brackens. Brackens? Yeah, these That's Brackens like, are fucking savages. How many centuries have they been fighting with each other, these two clans? They're Hatfields and McCoys. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's literally, they hate it's like, each other that oh, much. Man. Yeah. What a great scene, though. Like, that was the best scene of this entire episode, which is these guys being like, fuck you and your dragon. Go ahead and kill me. Yeah, whatever. What are you going to do? <laughs> then you won't have an army. Because, like, they know that he needs them. 
Yeah. But he has, there's no reason for them to join up. And whoever that actor was. That Perfect. Was Perfect. He was, he was so Weasley looking <laughs> yes. just enough to where you, you bought you bought what he was saying. Right. Like, he, looked, yeah. he, looked little, he looked a little fresh. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. looked a little like he's a little worn. <laughs> so then uh, the the Blackwood. or I, What is it? Willem. Willem. Right. This guy. Okay. So he goes to Damon's like, oh, my God, I can't believe I called my bluff. And the guy goes like, look, man, we could do a couple of things. <laughs> That might make them change their mind. And he's like, all Cause, right. Because what, what he needs to do now, aside from just the Brackens, he needs to get the other River Lords. Right. right? Because Grover Tully is in his waking coma or whatever. Mm -hmm. So no one, the Tully is basically there. River Run is basically useless at this point. So right. So you need to get the other. Well, uh, so Willem Blackwood, he basically said that like, look, the, the Brackens, even though they're assholes, mm. uh, they're really good fighters. Right. Mm -hmm. And if we go up against them head to head, we're, it's going to cost us. And so uh, Damon's like, okay, well, don't go against them head to head. Yeah. If you get my meaning, wink, wink. Yeah. And so uh, that, that basically gave Willem and the, and the Blackwoods, um, the uh, authority to basically rape and pillage their way through the exactly. towns. Right, right, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Under the, under the banner of the Targaryen, the Ooh. black and red, which is, that's a whole nother thing. Okay. I, well, that's going to bring you guys together. For yeah, sure. Of sure. Course. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was an interesting scene. Probably the best scene in the episode for me personally. I thought it was, it was well acted. It was really funny. It had a little bit of a humor to it. It was like, these guys were just like, fuck off, dude. I mean, well, this well, is the picture of, of, of Damon standing on top of his dragon. Yeah. Just, he's just, Hanging on to a saddle. Like, Come on, guys. Come on, man. And we just like... <laughs> and, 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 armor. Yeah. 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 And here's another thing, too. It's like, they're going to be shitting their pants when they... These eat. guys don't give a crap. Yeah. And, and the, the, the th other thing, too, that was that he was not doing the army for Rhaenyra. He was doing it for himself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another thing that comes up later on in the episode. It straight out says it. But but it also illustrates how ineffective um, Damon is as a, an actual leader. Like right. he, he, yeah. He's a, he's a good much like Kristen Cole, like he's a good wartime commander. Mm -hmm. Like he knows how to, how to fight, but he doesn't know how to inspire. No. Loyalty or yeah. No, 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 or no, no, anything no. Like yeah. That. And we get to that in a little bit. Uh, next up, we go to the veil. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to, yeah, hadn't been there Lady for Jane. Yeah. Lady it's been Jane's a like, this is not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted a dragon. Yeah. You gave me babies to take care of haven't and feed. Had, haven't even hatched. So at, yeah. this, so at this point, just so to remind everyone. So basically Raina is there with, Reyna is there with Joffrey, Viserys, and Aegon, mm -hmm. younger Aegon. Mm -hmm. And so at this point, Aegon's dragon is probably hatched. So Stormcloud is hatched. At okay. this point. Yeah, it's got to be Stormcloud and Taraxes yes, that Taraxes. are the alive dragons. Yes. And then uh, I believe at least one of them were hatched before they got on the boat to go over there. Taraxes was definitely already hatched. He's yeah. been hatched for a while. Yeah, and then so there's, there was four eggs in that cart. Mm -hmm. And you caught me on something. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I was like, I was tripping. I was like, did I... Is, is that something I made because, up in my head? Because I completely forgot about Reyna yeah. after everything ended. And so I didn't even read about the whole thing about her getting a dragon. Yeah, so Reyna does it. eventually... We, we misspoke anyway, yeah. uh, a couple of episodes yeah. ago that Reyna never gets a dragon. She does. It's one of those eggs. Okay. It yeah. eventually hatches. Okay. Uh, is there anything that we need to talk about about this? It's a very short scene, just kind of like touching base with where this character is. So, so basically, she, you know, Lady Jane's getting a little iffy because she's like, I, I wanted protection. Yeah. And so her and... It's like, if I'm going to take a side of the dragon lord, I want a dragon, not but think, a, 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 a liability. <laughs> but Reyna kind of puts her in her place a little bit and then they kind of was like, okay, I expect you at dinner. Yeah. Because uh, just to remember everyone, like Lady Jane is Rhaenyra's cousin through her mother. She okay. Was, yep. Because her mother was half yep. uh, Aaron. Okay. Emma, Emma, whatever they say. So it's her aunt. Yeah. So it's her other aunt. Ra Rhaenys was her aunt on the Targaryen side. Yeah. This lady's her aunt on the... Well, on I don't the... know if it's her aunt. It's maybe a cousin. I could be wrong, though. But I think it's a cousin. Okay. Yeah. It's not her mother's sister? No. Okay. No. That former Sorry. roommate? Former <laughs> mother's sister's <laughs> former roommate. <laughs> Uh, okay, is there any other significance to that before and, we move and on? Just to, just to make sure, this is the distant um, um, ancestor of John Aaron. From yeah. game, from the original show? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Yeah, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at a certain point, um, the people that she's sheltering there, uh, the children, mm -hmm. don't they get moved? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were supposed to go to Pentos, weren't they? Eventually. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, they said that in the, yeah, they yeah. said that in the episode. Yeah, you're going to go to the Vale. 
And then you're going to go to Pentos yes. and get out of the way and, yes. and stay safe. Yes. So that, that's not a spoiler. Send that, you somewhere safe. Yeah, that was in the episode. The veil you know, is uh, unfucking penetrable. Yeah, the impregnable. bloody gates. Impregnable. Unless you have dragons. <laughs> yeah. Unless true. you have Vagar. And, that, and that's, the, that's the fear is because they kind of, you know, gave us a little history lesson about yeah. how Visenya flew with Vagar yeah. through the veil. Oh, shit. That was badass. That was badass. nice. Because they, I think they're looking at history books. Yes, they're looking at some history books and yeah. some picture books. So that was cool. Yeah. But I think also one of the reasons why they're going to get the kids to Pentos is because Damon cultivated some friendships over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're just like, okay, we know some people. You can get them there. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next scene is uh, Rhaenyra talking with the White Whisperer or whatever her name is. What's Lady, her name? Lady Misery. <laughs> Lady Misery. Sorry. Misery. Um, and she's Bloodworm. she's basically like, what what's my move here? What what's my play? So do you guys have any thoughts on this, uh, Matt? What do you think about this? I, I'm or this trying to scene? recall the scene. I, I don't remember what they were talking. I, I'm looking at it right okay. now. Okay. I I don't remember what the context of the. Conversation she basically was. said, "Yes, you're limited. You're hamstrung by your position, but the whole thing is delegation." Yeah, <laughs> getting people right. to do things for, for you. And, yeah. and there's more than one way to fight a war. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. She's because Rhaenyra is a her back is against the wall. She lost a dragon. She lost one of her best dragon riders. Her her fiercest advocate on the her small. Yeah. And, and she lost their biggest dragon. That yes. too. Yeah. So she's well, in she's in a tight. And the big, only other woman on the small council. That's the thing. Yeah. And also their biggest dragon that had a dragon rider. Right. Which will come up later. Okay. So she basically says, and th- this this little handmaiden girl is is that Rhaenyra's handmaiden or is that the the uh, Lady Misery's handmaiden? I think it's one of her little little birds that she birds. sends she sends to King's Landing again. Just go, so, yeah, just go to King's Landing. It's totally easy to get there. Hop on over. <laughs> so so it, was, it was the Queen's handmaiden, but I believe that uh, Lady Misery had so many people embedded in the Red Keep that you know it was, mm-hmm. she had like an existing relationship with with that one. Okay, mm-hmm. and then right after that, now. This conversation that she has kind of sets her in, okay, I need to start delegating. I need to start building a team. So she goes to uh, Damon's daughter, remind me of her name? Bella. Bela. Bela, and says, can you, <laughs> hey, sorry about your mom. Uh, I'd like to make your dad the hand of the kid. Uh, well, actually, no, 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 grandmother. grandmother. Gra- oh, it's a grandmother. Um, my bad, my bad. Sorry about your grandmother. I'd like to make your grandfather the hand to, for me. Um, can you go have a chat with him? Can you go talk to him for me, please? <laughs> pretty, pretty, please. And they mentioned the fact that Driftmark, he's kind of not even cool with it anymore because now it's like just kind of like a mausoleum to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can I, see I mean, in, on the map, you can see how close they are together. Yeah. They're like right, right there. Where, where is Driftmark? So Driftmark is right next to Dragonstone. See those two castles right there on the side? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not even a skip or a jump, just a hop. It's like it's like next door neighbors. They can't see each other <laughs> from the top of the castle. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, 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 and then that shit with Rainies went down at Rook's Rest, which, which is, is right there. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> uh, Westeros. But, well, what's interesting about Corlys is basically so like he lost both of his children. Mm-hmm. And then he lost his beloved wife. Mm. He also lost all of his heirs. Yes. And so, his legitimate heirs. So, so he, he's essentially alone now. Mm-hmm. And that that one last thing where Be- Be- or Bela's walking away and he, he's like, I choose you as my heir. And she's like, nah. Well, it's just <laughs> I'm blood and fire. fire. It's I'm... crazy that he would ask her anyway because she's engaged to Jace, who was the heir to the Iron Throne. She can't be the queen and no. the heir to Drift. I, I, I think it was just like a, a last Why minute can't she? Like, yeah. like, type thing. It is not done. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but that makes uh, his bastards all that yeah. more important. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, that's this is basically just maneuvering him to have no other choice yeah. but to and, anoint his bastard. And honestly, like now that Rhaenys is dead, he can legitimize them. He can. Yeah. And also yeah. the thing is, just to make sure, it's Alan and Adam are both his bastards. Yeah. Not okay. just one. So the yeah. two brothers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He got busy. <laughs> you know, you're on the ocean for a while. <laughs> when the boats are rocking. You he rocked I mean? the boats, yeah. Um, the ocean of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is everybody's least favorite part of the episode. Damon in, uh, in, uh, in Hell. Hall. What is Heron it? Hell. Hell and Hell. Heron 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 God, Heron I'm so Heron bad Heron at names. Heron I'm Heron sorry. Heron Hall. It's like right there, dude. I know. I got I got hell divers <laughs> yeah, in my just, head. I was about to say Hellmeyer. I'm like, that's around, not the right place. Around the corner. Yeah, just down the street. Just down the street. Down the street. Um, we start off. He's having another freaking waking nightmare dream where he's banging his mom. Yeah, he's going. He's down banging his mom. His mom. He's, he's going down his mom. Now, so fucking unnecessary. I didn't know who she was. We've never seen his mother before, have who we? Has, well, Alyssa. He. She died when he was like three. I okay, think. so he yeah. barely even knows. So yeah. like this, it didn't gross me out because I'm watching. I'm like, is some, some Targaryen queen from the past or something? I, I initially thought it was Viserys's first wife, and then I was like, no, that doesn't look like. That's not the same actress. And then I was like, oh god. 
Yeah. That's his mom. I mean, I mean, brother fucking is one thing. Sister fucking is one thing, but your mom, mother. <laughs> it's just a dream, man. It's I a mean, dream. When, when we first saw it, I, I found it odd. And I was, I was like, who is this? Because we haven't seen her before. Right. Yeah. And as the scene went on, I was like, I think that might be his mom. Yeah. And then, and then when they revealed it, uh, me and Jude were just like, Dude. Yeah. <laughs> show doing like, weird shit for the sake of doing weird shit, not making Damon be doing the shit that he's supposed to be doing. Which is badassery. Yeah. And they're yeah. selling this hair and hall juju. He's just walking around in a fugue state. How many times are we going to have dinner around this stupid table with the freaking guys <laughs> from hair and hall? <laughs> I'm sorry, Simon Strong. I don't want to see you again. It's, well, <laughs> like they keep like inner. He's he keeps trying to put Damon in his place because he knows how things are supposed to be, and Damon's over here throwing a tantrum, and he's like, "Yeah, but you're you're." The, you're the king, but you're the king consort. consort. But what's interesting about um, Damon's visions is that, so we know for a fact that it's inspired by the old gods, the weirwood trees. Right. And, oh, no, and, it's and, Alice. It's in this witch lady, well, yeah. Well, but I, I mean, the weirwoods are the things that cause these prophetic visions because he's sleeping in a weirwood bed. Heron Hall is built on an, a weirwood orchard and type Forest, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, every time he has one of these, these visions, it's always about a Targaryen. And it's mostly about Targaryen women. So it was like his, his former wife, Rhaenyra. Uh, Rhaenyra, and now his mother. And so, like, there, there's a very interesting pattern emerging here. So, he's got well, he, he has got, he's got issues where he can't give up control yes. to a woman. That's the whole point of this whole thing is like, I have to, such a misogynist. I have to <laughs> give <laughs> fealty to Rhaenyra, and I don't want to. I want to be the king. I, it's me. Well, he, it's well, me. He, it's me. Well, he's still bitter that Viserys. Didn't choose him. Choose and choose. Well, actually, right. he was technically the heir, but because he was so unpredictable, right. particularly his heir for the day comment, mm -hmm. Viserys did uh, it out of know. spite in some ways initially. He's he's Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 moved to L.A. Yeah, <laughs> he's married some American he's chick, some American bro. Yeah, <laughs> yes. but I think that um, when it comes to Damon, so the thing that annoys me, and I think you know, you and I were talking about this, was that. I don't want to see any more scenes with him and Alice because it's going to take away from mm -hmm. where she's going to be later on in the series. It's like, this is what is, especially we know this isn't going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So let's move on from this. Yeah, I feel like the show is trying to push us to believe that he's going to have some kind of sordid affair with Alice. And it's if the show does that, I'll be really fucking pissed. Yeah. So let's not with Alice. So <laughs> right. what we have yeah. here is we have a conflict between book readers and non-book readers. Right. What I'm seeing is like, I know what's supposed to Alice happen, and if they don't do this, she has a part, big, big role. With someone else, it's, it's not. Okay, with well, all right, all right. Uh, don't spoil it. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> if that's where the this show is, this is a waste of time. This, this is a waste of time. No sense. Yeah. So, what, as a as a non broker I'm just watching this. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing them break his character down to the point where he has no other choice but to say, you know what, I've been wrong, mm -hmm. and need to go be with my queen and do what I'm supposed to do for the good of our house. Yo, my queen. And, yeah, he, really, they're trying to get him to that point where he has no other choice. Well, he doesn't I want it. Understand why it's taking the entire fucking season to do that? <laughs> because, <laughs> because there has to be a character arc, and they wanted it to be a season two character arc for Damon. They created this character arc, right. this, season three. Character arc <laughs> this season. I know. I'm just saying, like, the, the, like he. I'm, I'm, are we going to get uh, eight seasons out of this? No. <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many seasons it's they have out of this. Go, it's not going to go eight seasons. They might. <laughs> no, no, no. Not with this. Not with this. At least this story. The Dance of the Dragons will probably go no more than like four. But that, yeah, that's everything that is happening this season is like three chapters of the book. Yeah, HBO will drag this right. out as long yeah, as they're gonna, long. Yeah, they're going to, yeah, they're going to milk this baby as long as, as they well can. As well as they should. I mean, here's um, the thing the aftermath might be a season or two more, but I think the actual war will probably be until season four at most. No, season five at most. You think so? Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's going to go at least five seasons. Um, so uh, before we move on, I, that's what I think is going to happen with Damon. And real quick, I texted you about this when I was watching this scene. Uh, this which is which lady's name? Alice. Alice, or Alice, Alice. and there's Alice Sint is the queen, and yeah. this is Lake Alice. God dang it! For the show. <laughs> also, it's spelled with a Y and whatever. An S. <laughs> Damon's mother. Her name was Alyssa. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yet original. God. There's got to be a reason he did this. I can't I there be like a Karen somewhere in there. You know what I mean? Karen anyway. with a Karen, Karen with a Y. <laughs> yeah. um, the witch lady, uh, she straight up disappears. Uh -huh. So Damon's talking to her, mm -hmm. and then she turns and walks away just as the strong guy. What's his name? The white-haired Simon Strong. Simon Strong comes walking in. He gives her a weird like, what the hell are you doing here? Yes, and then he she does. walks behind him. And then she disappears and she is not like he moves a little bit and she's not there anymore. And I'm like, 
That sh- I'm like, come on, give me more of that. Give me more of that stuff. <laughs> Kieran, for a boy, <laughs> they could put that in there. K Y R. Are you still thinking about this? Yeah. yeah did you space out for the past yeah, three minutes? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, you did. I think you did. Thinking about alternate names. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the Kieran controversy. So you know. Yeah. All right. We go ahead. back. We're back at another small council meeting with uh, with the uh, the uh, and, Greens. Well, 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 here's yeah. Glad you. Yeah. Glad that. More small councils. And this is where uh, Allison is like, "Hey guys, I should be in charge." And they're like, "Yeah, nah. no." And yeah, everyone, no, no. even Larry, Lar- Lar- not with that vagina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even Laris is just like, yeah, no. Don't do that. It's a bad move. And then the minute when Kristen is just kind of like, nope, is just like, oh, shit. She's locking up on the night. I think think Eamon should be king. Well, listen, man, for for Allison, (laughs) like, I'm not on her side. No. I don't think she should be queen. She's a terrible human being. She's terrible. So everybody being like, look, uh, no, thank you for your perspective, (laughs) Allison, but uh, no. And then they go around. There's a worse choice than Allison is. (laughs) Eamon. (laughs) Eamon. At least he's smart. At least he's intelligent. He's a bit of a tyrant, but he does say in this se- in in this uh, closing part of the scene when they're like, "Okay, Amon's he's next in line." All all the paperwork says Amon needs to be the king until yeah. the king re- is repaired, uh, repaired like he's a robot, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, healed up. So this would make him so this prin- this would make him the prince regent. Yeah, this all makes sense. Right, like, yeah. there's no controversy. Especially here. like since, this is just how it's especially done. Especially since Aegon Aegon has no. Mm, no male heirs anymore. Right. Like, it makes sense that. And the, even if he did, son, even if they were like, okay, well, we're going to give it to his heir. The heir's freaking six years old. Yeah. Of course they're going to have, or, yeah. or whatever. They're, of course they're going to have somebody else run the country or and, whatever. And they make it a, a point in the small council to say like, our whole argument against Rhaenyra is, is that she's a woman. Right. Yeah. How would it look if we put a woman in? Yeah, there? exactly. Makes us look, look hypocrite. Listen, the logic here is sound as far as yeah, I'm yeah, concerned. Did this. I've then, got no qualms and then she, with it. And then she kind of, and this was actually really well done and great acting by Olivia Cook, of course. Mm-hmm. But the fact she kind of just tunes out and you kind of hear yeah. Yeah, yeah. what they're saying. Yeah. And she's just like, I just lost. That was the moment well, where she lost muff- all power. Well, they yeah. muffled all the dialogue yeah. around. Yeah. The they're just, well. they're just talking over her. Like they're not even. Yeah. She's yeah. She realizes play. at that moment that I am out of the game. Cause a she's lot of her two pa- episodes, it's too late. Be- yep. Sure yep. At that, at because that her- point she becomes the queen mother who just yeah. sits in the just back of the room. Go and sew. Go and sew your doilies. And the thing most importantly is that you notice before, all her powers through a man, whether it be her father at first, and mm-hmm. then of course through Viserys, right, and then to a degree through Aegon until she fucked that up, and a little bit of Kristen Cole. But now it's like everyone's just like, nope, yeah, she, she's but, not the yeah. Also, the minute Aegon just kind of like takes the main seat, it's great, and and he, like he starts acting like a king. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, yes. Amen, he's yeah, like, Amen, yeah, 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 Amen. Uh, it was, it was, he's like, cut down those rat catchers. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. It, was, it was really cool because, the, you know, they made the decision and he immediately just takes that little ball. And he walks he's like, around okay, the other side yeah, of the table. I'm in charge now. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to, I'm like, he's just super decisive. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know everybody's like, oh, he's a tyrant. He's a, he's no, crazy he, and all like, this stuff. I'm like, more, yeah. he was more prepared for the moment than Aegon right. ever was. Yeah. Because Aegon, we know, never, never wanted to be. And this guy did. And now he is, and he's going to take it, and he's going to run with it. Yes. And I'm like, yeah, all right. I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I have no I problem think, with I don't it. think any of us wouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. Do that. And I think the thing is, you know, because in Westeros, you know, Telegram, Telephone, Teleraven, um, everyone now knows <laughs> that he's calling. in charge. Right. And they're calling him by one of his names. Which was? Aemon One-Eye. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I like cool. that. It's cool. Yeah, and but, and what, what's interesting now is, is that the stage has been set where Aemon is going to be dealing directly with Damon because yes. that's, right. that's the next target is Heron Hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say, you mentioned the cat, the rat catcher thing already. That was the moment where I'm like, oh, oh like everybody's freaked out a little bit that Eamon's going to be the guy that in charge because he's like, he's ruthless and this and that. I'm like, he immediately shows more humanity than his, than, than his mother yeah, it, or it, his it brother. It wasn't humanity though. It was, it was tactical. It was like, well, of course. He, he was like, we've got, this thing that my brother did that set the small folk against us and they're out there rotting for like how many weeks? Yeah. yeah. He's like, get those things down. Yeah. <laughs> and, there's, and they're starving. Yeah. And they just dragged that dragon through the streets and that's a bad omen. Everybody's pissed off about that. Yeah. You know. Like by, not, not I, a good time. I'm like, I think the dog was still loyal. By yeah, default. That. Oh, that dog. The dog deserved better. Uh, exactly. Like my, my sister, we were watching it together and she was like, oh, the dog. I'm like, that guy treated that dog like shit. <laughs> He's still loyal. All right, we get the next scene real quick. We touch base with uh, Hugh the Hammer. He's with his daughter. This is kind of like Hugh the Hammer. I feel like is our our look at the small folk of King. Oh Landing. yeah, mm-hmm. 
He's he's our instrument for showing what the people are thinking. He needs to hurry up to get the hell out of there. He and that's the whole message. Is like his wife is like, we need to get. Is he, is out he one of, of those bastards? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's that's a target. Which I, I know where they're going with this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So he's trying. He's got to get his family out of King's Landing. His daughter's sick for whatever reason. She has something that they can't cure or don't have the money to cure. Um, and he's basically his wife's like, we gotta go, or we're all gonna die. The king promised the king's worthy. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, they're setting the stage with him, where basically like the Greens have betrayed him, yeah, and uh, also his daughter's definitely gonna die, and that's gonna turn him against, right. uh, yes, you know the Greens. Yeah. And so uh, I get the sense that uh, he's gonna be switching sides. And right? they mentioned in this episode that uh, now that the. Uh, blacks are kind of out of riders that they need to start. Well, yeah, that's, whoa, 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 that's whoa, whoa, whoa. The, oh, we haven't gotten there yet. That's the last scene. Yeah, that's the last. All right, we're gonna move. We're gonna move forward. There's, there's some more explanation that we'll add. Yeah. That, so. Real quick, I forgot to mention it, but I just saw it in my notes. Uh, I'm another reason I'm so annoyed with everything that's going on with Damon <laughs> is because it's like the season finale of Dexter. <laughs> he just like fucked off to go become a lumberjack. Oh, you mean the series finale? Wood. That's how I'm contributing to the war. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. Well, even the witch lady was like, "This is dumb. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm getting my hands dirty. I'm like, no, dude. <laughs> go get an army, you dumb fuck. <laughs> this, was, this whole thing was, it was dumb. Yeah. Anyway, All right. Yeah. So they locked well, down well, King's. Well, part part of that though was practical because he doesn't have the coin to pay these people. Right. And so like they need to see him out there and yeah. and he needs to kind of supplement the labor. So like. There's all these little things that like are implied be because Heron Hall is so big, mm -hmm. he doesn't have the money to repair it. But and, and, all, and also, Laris took the, all the money. I was just gonna say that's yeah. one thing that the yeah. Greens did super smart mm -hmm. is they hid all of the money. Yeah. yeah. So now that yeah, were they did he just find that out? Yes. He's yeah. been there for how long? And yeah. he's like, wait a minute, you don't have any money? He's been busy. <laughs> yeah. dr he's been drinking. <laughs> Why do you think this place balls? is a shithole? <laughs> <laughs> he's been there for like a month. You think he's been like drinking balls? No. The way they do time in this show, he's probably been there like 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. He's been sleeping in that bed for freaking five episodes. 48 yeah. hours. <laughs> uh, we, we catch up with Jace. He's at the Twins. He's talking to the phrase. And uh, this is a this is where I was like, I'm kind of I'm kind of on team Jace right now. Yes. This dude, this dude knows how to barter. Exactly. And he's dealing with these phrase who I don't know if this is like a familiar uh, from, what is the word when you have like a, a lineage of like just shit bags? Is it like <laughs> <laughs> a bloodline of shit bags? Yeah, yeah a, bl a bloodline of shit bags. Nailed it. A phrase, yeah. phrase the word, phrase <laughs> red wedding. Yes. They were, yeah, yeah, the phrase were, of the red yeah, wedding. They were eat, the your, eat your nephew or eat your son. They were, yeah, the, yeah. They okay. were the cat spa. Right. Because it was uh, t uh, yeah, Taiwan who was behind that. Anyway, yeah, um, one of my favorite kills in the whole. Oh, the red weddings. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, when when uh, oh when oh, uh, she, uh, she kills them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was I'll awesome. Bake the pie today. Uh, yeah, it's some pie. Where yeah. is my son? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My name is Stock. I want That's you to look at my <laughs> eyes while you die. Such a good moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Open his throat. Right. I want so, some. I want something like that to happen in this show where we're like, yeah. yeah. It should That's have what happened in the season premiere, but it didn't. That's what this show is kind of missing. We're missing a, a red wedding moment. Yeah. Like well, that. I mean, we got a, we got a, we got a great battle last episode. Yeah, Cliff, man, I know she died, but I wasn't Long surprised. So, so, I'll, so, I'll, so, I'll, I wasn't, so I'll tell you this. I wasn't surprised when that happened. Here's right. what was smart about Jace is that, one, he's a way better negotiator than Catelyn Stark ever will be. Oh, for sure. Two, he gave them, even though he, get, he basically... Pulled a, an Aemon in many ways. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Heron Hall is symbolic, but it's worthless. Right. So he needs the, the twins. Wants, the phrase, yeah, he needs the twins. He needs he to cut like, off access to the north, basically. And that's pretty much all he needed to give him. Is just no, like, yeah, he, you can he have needs access to the north. He needs. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he also. Well, the, nor the northerners need access to get in. That's the thing. right. But he doesn't want uh, Chris and Cole to be able to get up north. Exactly. Right. That's the, he's trying to get that that strategic place mm -hmm. so that the the Greens can't go north and he can. That's the whole point. And oh, so and well, so he. Go on. Go on. Well, I was going to say, he realizes that the battle is to be fought in the Riverlands. Yes. And so he's trying to shore that up. And he knows that uh, his uncle is, ba or his stepdad. Mm -hmm. is, step uncle. Is, is, stunkle. Uh, <laughs> is, is, up there, is up there trying, trying to raise an army. <laughs> but uh, he realizes that the strategic alliances are far more important at yes. this point. Because that's what's going to bring the, the armies. He's better at this than his mom. Yeah. Sure. Well, he's more decisive. Yeah, I think than Rhaenyra is being and for some reason. I don't. I'm not quite sure why she's not. Well, you know why? Because she was too busy fucking nights. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you got something folks. on your mind? Oh no, I was just I was looking for Winterfell, and I was. Like, oh, it's oh, way, way, way up, way, 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 way up. Yeah. 
There's this is not this is yeah. this is viewed mostly on King's Land. This Landing. is not even we're not even seeing the neck. Right. You don't even yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a we need a full size map next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This map is just the crown lands and the, and the storm. Yeah. Okay. So. okay. so the next scene, I'm trying. We're almost at an hour. I want to kind of like speed through until we get to the important part of the end. But uh, Rhaenyra basically hires that one dude who's always been bitching at her that she doesn't know what she's doing. It's like, okay, look, you're you're right. You're also wrong, but you're right. I do need to do more things, and yeah, I need shut to trust the you. Fuck up, man. Yeah, you need to stop freaking <laughs> well, back talking. Blame to me. him. I don't. I don't. But she finally says, "Okay, your job is to go do. What does he have to go do? <laughs> he's, he's going to Heron Hall to treat with Damon. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. The fold. So as she is at this point, she has given up on the fact that Damon's trying to build an armor f army for her. She's like, yeah, he's out there by himself. And yeah, basically, he's doing it for him. The smart thing about it is that she was able to sweeten it where he's thinking you're dismissing this. Like, no, you're still in the council. You're yeah. just doing this, which and is a very good. important job. It is. Yeah. 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 And Somebody has to do it. Damon and Rhaenyra need each other separately. They flounder, but when yes. they are together, they are a fucking force. Which is, I think, is the point of him being tripping balls. Is spending okay. so much. Yeah, my ring just fell off for oh. no reason. Um, the reason why they're showing him, and probably maybe there's a reason why they're dragging it out so much to frustrate us on purpose. Be like, you're you're so useless by yourself, man. Both of so you. that the time when they do actually come back together, it's going to be like, yes, finally they're back together. Now let's go do some shit. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to get a reaction out of us. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see how it happens. No. Uh, the Brackens come back and they're like, yo, you, oh, you sent these people yes. to tear us apart. This is a you great... You think that's going to make us like fall under your banner? Yeah. they These people are so... Oh, when they woke him up. And yeah. And, and like, I, and maybe I, initially... I need to teach you a lesson. Oh. Oh, really? And, really? And, 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 yeah. and initially, I thought it was a vision at first. I'm like, oh, this is actually happening. Yeah. yeah. And the thing, and even more so, it shows you how shitty Damon is at the point. At leading. Yeah. yeah. At leading. Yeah. You know. I th you know how it's not a a, a dream? Mm -hmm. He's got clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> every time and this guy dreams, mom. <laughs> every time this guy dreams, he's naked. <laughs> he has the perpetual naked dream all the time. Wow. That's and so hilarious. they kind of storm out of him. They're yeah. Like, yeah. They're like, listen, man. like they already told him to F off. And then they and then he goes and do, does some dirty war crime tricks. Well, he lets the Blackwoods do whatever they want to right. on their lands. And so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, well, they wake him up at the hour of the wolf, which is like what three in the morning, between like three and five a.m. And and so like he, he's already pissed off, and he gets there, and he's expecting them to show him the proper respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and he's really trying to make King happen. Yeah, too. yeah, exactly. Stop trying to make King happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you wake well, a you wake a king and bring your king from his bed, bro. Yeah. Well, 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 well he, he had that exchange with uh, with Strong about, uh, you know, like, what would you call the man who's married to your queen? He's like, the queen king, consort. 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 He's like, why don't we just leave that last part? Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just the first part. No. You know what? I'll, Such I'll a tell, diva. I'll, I'll tell you this. Even though we are frustrated with Damon's arc, Matt Smith is still oh, selling Oh, still killing it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but uh, I, I just found it interesting that Damon walks in there with his big dick energy, mm -hmm. and then like got it chopped like off. for the, for the for the second time in this episode, the the Brackens just like Fuck tell off. him where to stuff it, <laughs> yeah. and 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 he and stuff when, it in your mother. When, when, they, when they walk out of there, he's just like, "What just happened? So, <laughs> who are these people? Who are these Bracken people? It's so <laughs> Targaryen. It's that, I kind of like them. It's Targaryen privilege. <laughs> yeah. So what hap What's I think what's going to happen is they're showing this on purpose to show how inept he is at actually gathering armies and getting people's loyalties. And they're going to, I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be Jace. Maybe it'll be Rhaenyra herself or something. She's going to step in and do the same thing. And they're going to be like, yeah, all right, we'll team up with well, you. you know and it's going to show this back and forth between like, and okay. And she will do it on the back of Cyrax. Right. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that he keeps trying to like find people who can be loyal to him. But like all of the Kingsguard and the City Watch in King's Landing, those are people that are actually loyal to him. Yes. Like the one guy, he's like, oh, you're with Misery? Yeah, girl, come on over. Yeah. Why they have not replaced the entire um, <laughs> City Watch is beyond me. Well, yeah. uh, also, what's interesting is in the North, so the North is the land of the old gods, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're, you know, the first men. Mm -hmm. And in the South, that's the the religion of the seven. Yes. And the Riverlands are kind of like where the two of them meet. And so like mm -hmm. a lot of the old houses in the Riverlands, they're kind of a mixture of old gods and new. And and so like they don't, because they have this kind of like mixed belief in, in like, you know, the old gods and stuff like that, they look at the Targaryens and they're just like, you know, like you don't have the power you think you do. Mm -hmm. no. Like they don't have the respect for them that they should. And another thing too that a lot of people forget is that the Riverlands were never a kingdom. I think they were part, I forgot who they were part of. I think Harrenhal was ruled by the Iron Islands, but the Riverlands are just kind of there. 
where it's like the seven kingdoms are do not include them because they're not that they're just mm -hmm. they're great house but they're not a kingdom per se like the other ones okay all right final scene <clears throat> wait we just see mm. allison spends about 10 minutes with her kid dude <laughs> Oh God! I was watching um, the scene. Yeah, that's thank you for bringing this up. You. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but like yeah. I watched the scene and immediately I I went back to Catelyn Stark sitting next to Bran mm -hmm. and just never leaving his bed mm -hmm. until he finally wakes never up. Never eating, she, never watching. Ne it. Dude, she's like, you. I've been here for every day from sun sundown or even she longer. But still managed yeah. to shit on John. Yeah, still managed to shit on John. Still, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she really hated that kid. Yeah. I know. Um, Put that up against Allison, sit next to Aegon. She goes, <sighs> okay. Well, I've done my just, duty. And then just leaves. Yeah. And as she's leaving, he goes, that was sad. Mommy. Oh, and she God. just doesn't even hear it. Yeah. And I'm like, Tom oh. Glenn Kearney is, Kearney is just, God, that kid is, he's great. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and the thing is, it's sad. He's had so much ground to make up because he was branded a rapist. Mm -hmm. So that immediately just like puts him in the shit column. You mean Aegon? Aegon. Yeah. Well, talk, sorry. I know. Don't tell, don't put the actor's name with that. Sorry. 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 sorry, sorry. Thank Jeez. you for that. Thank you for that. The character he yes. plays, Aegon, thank you for that, was branded a rapist. And so the actor, God bless him, <laughs> had so much ground to make up, especially given the fact that he didn't even have that many episodes last season. Yeah. So. He's done such a great job, even though, yeah, Aegon's a louse and he's lazy and he's a shit, but you still realize. You still have a little bit of a heart for him. Yeah. Like, oh, man, I'm kind of rooting for this human. kid. Yeah. All right. So the final scene, we get Jace coming back from the phrase. He's done with the negotiation. He goes back and re responds to his I mom. She's proud of him. Yeah. It's a, me. This is a good moment because he walks in at first and he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. And then they they he starts to walk away and then she pops off and says something and then he turns around and then they start having this little... Oh, let's share some ideas. He's got a little bit of a smirk. There's a little bit of humor between the two of them. It's a great scene. I love seeing the way they work together. And then yes. he comes up with an idea and he's like, well, you don't have to be pure blood to ride a dragon, right? I mean, and she's like, well, she's like, well, that's a ridiculous. I mean, look at him. Look at her. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where the idea sparks. And, and this then, is and where. And then they bring up the um, Jaharis and then his wife, uh -huh. um, another. Good Queen Alison. Good Queen Alison. Yeah. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Thank you. Good Queen Alison. I wasn't sure for a second, but yeah. Good Queen Alison. Their dragons are on, because there's a lot of, that's why it's called Dragonstone. There's a lot of dragons in the Dragonmont in mm -hmm. that area. So we saw Vermithor last season. Silverwing is there. There's a bunch of other wild dragons as well. I can't wait to see the I wild dragons. Wait. So they saw that Jace comes up, and I'm glad they kept this. Jace was the one who came up with the idea, mm -hmm. let's start looking for dragon seeds, right. looking for bastards, any type of relation to the Targaryens. <clears> so <throat> that was a great way to end the episode. Yeah. So Rhaenyra is doing something. And so, yeah. So that and was, th this that is was also. And, and, this, and this is why they've got the hammer. Cue the hammer. Yeah. They got they had that one dude a couple episodes in the bar. Right. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. What's yeah. They're, they're dropping little oh, hints yeah. that these people are everywhere. Oh, oh. Right. yeah. Because the Targaryens yeah. got busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the fact that Hugh the Hammer, who we see trapped in King's Landing, his daughter's going to die. He's going to turn on the greens. He's going to leave and he's going to go and they're going to give that guy a freaking dragon. And he's oh, going to be yes. like, I'm getting revenge for my dead daughter. Yep. That's what I'm seeing happening. I don't know if that's, that's going to happen. That's it's not what, a spoiler. That's, that's, I that's my speculation. And, I, I, mean, I know in the books they offer or uh, Queen uh, Rhaenyra offers some type of like reward. Lordships. Lordships. That mm. if, if they come out and they, you know, were to tame a dragon. So you get a bunch of people who mm. kind of come out and don't quite make it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and that, and that, and people that are like, oh, I bet I'm, I know how to and, do and, it. I'm part Targaryen. And that's what they put in the previews where it's like, it's not just easy peasy, get it, claim a dragon. Right. Yeah. How to claim your dragon. <laughs> yeah. like, how to claim your dragon. <laughs> 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 There's going to actually be like people who the dragon's not going to accept them or they're yeah. not even truly a Targaryen. Yeah. Some Which people I, try to use magic. Yeah, Some yeah. people try to like uh, use force. It's wild. Whoa. Okay, so here's yeah, a speculation. The As a non-book reader, um, this is not spoilers, it's a speculation because what you just said. Uh -huh. So there's two people that we know of in the show that they purposely spent some screen time with. Right. The actually, dude in the bar is like, I'm part Targaryen. I got <laughs> this and that. Actually, actually and then we got cool. Hugh the Hammer mm -hmm. who's yeah. also part Targaryen. I think they're going to have both of those guys go and one dude's going to eat it and then Hugh the no, Hammer's I think they're both going to get a dragon. You think so? Yeah. I don't know about so that. I'll I think they're going to show the this. difference. There's actually more than two. I'm sure oh, there yeah, are, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying the show has yeah. shown us two that we what, know. What's actually going to be interesting is we're going to see, I'm curious if they are going to show us the wild dragons. So these mm. dragons have never been claimed. 
There's one. They've mentioned them. Yeah, they have mentioned them. Actually, cannibal, Damon mentioned the cannibal, sheep, sheep stealer, stealer, and, and uh, cannibal. Sil- no, gray ghost. Gray ghost. Yeah. Yes. Gray ghost. Each fish. Uh, each fish. <laughs> sheep stealer. His name. Right. The cannibal. The reason why he's eats called the dead cannibal, dragons. He eats dr- dead dragons and dragon eggs. Whoa. And he's actually almost as large as Valerian. No way. And okay, there's, wait. And there's uh, a rumor. Cannibal is here. Okay. Okay. So be a little. Yeah. He's close. Yeah. He's one of the bigger ones. This is Valerian, the dread. He's dead. Right. Black, and the then black dread. Vagar. The black dread. So he's oh, only oh. slightly smaller than Vagar. Yeah. And but, oh. Maylise, the va- the one that we just and, saw and these dragons all hang the, out on Dragonstone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, they all got like dragon caves and stuff. Like oh yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. And the crazy thing about it is that. Okay. Dude, if we send the next three episodes of this show just hunting for wild exactly. dragons, I'm down. Is here. Hell yeah. <laughs> and the, and the thing so about, Maylise was the next biggest dragon that they had. Whoa. So this guy is well, huge actually, then. Actually, actually, Maylise and then Verma. I'm gonna. Ha- can you? Yeah, but nobody's writing Verma. I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this graphic in the yeah. video when I edit it. So sure. send that to me. And then I also, did. and then okay. also another thing about the cannibal is that he might not even be a Targaryen dragon. Hmm. He might have come before. The um, oh. yeah he might he, he didn't come to, he was he, he wasn't from have, Valeria he was from Valeria but he's oh. not a target he's an exile yeah, there's speculation like quit eating this okay. get out of here. he's like very different um, so just for your reference there's yeah like a there's whale a whale right down yeah these <laughs> things are huge <laughs> to show you how big dragons that's awesome. actually are that's yeah. cool yeah all right that's it for the show in this episode episode five Regent um, I'm looking forward to seeing where this thing is going I, there's there's so many little seeds that they're planting yeah and literally. dragons literally. Seeds. Dragon seeds. Um, so we'll see where it goes. And think um, about it. That's probably why the episode was probably boring because they need to spend more CGI in the next episode. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was implying earlier. This, I just, is, a, this is a budget. Listen, I'm all for, I'm all for conversation. I'm all for exposition. I'm all for these little meetings and stuff like that. Make but just dynamic. they just need to make them a little bit more animated. Dynamic. Di- a little bit more dynamic. We need to be walking someplace when we're talking. We but, need to be uh, practicing fighting. I, I want to point out that while we were watching it, Jude just couldn't let go of Damon's storyline. She, she just, <laughs> she hates, hates it, it so much. Yeah. <laughs> My why, sister-in-law why, hates why it too. Hate it so much? Because he's such a badass character. And in like, and he and Rhaenyra are a team. So this division for the sake of, oh, he has to eat, find it within himself to- <laughs> Accept to, a woman. To accept a, <laughs> this is fucking nonsense. We already you know, know what? the patriarchal society. You know what? We know division's coming, but don't do it now. It's stupid. Yeah, it's, it's dumb. It's stupid. It's dumb as fuck. Don't I have it. a little bit of a problem with her being so close with Masaria also. Because, mm-hmm. like, Masaria is kind of like the package deal that comes with Damon. Damon. Yes. Um, so I just feel like the show is tweaking things just for the sake don't tweak things of, just like, because. girls over here and boys over here. Don't and pu- I, I, it's annoying. Don't me. pull a ruin Johnson. Don't subvert it. <laughs> yeah, just for the sake of it. Just for yeah. the sake of <laughs> No kidding. How dare you invoke his name? Um, okay. I said it correctly, though. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, that's it. Everybody good? Final thoughts? Good. good. Okay. Not a great episode, but it's a lot of stuff in the stuff, works. Stuff happened. Filler, yeah, episode. Yeah, filler yeah. episode. Filler episode. Um, Better than any episode of The Acolyte, though. Oh, oh good God. It's not even a comparison. How's I don't even watch even, that. Just edit that part out. <laughs> how's that even a comparison? I find it infuriating the the use of the term filler episode in mm. a season that has eight episodes. Fair enough. It's, yeah. it's the TV experience in me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. 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 Like when you eat back in like the days of Buffy when you had 24 episodes in a season. Sure. Ooh. Throw a filler in there. Throw mm-hmm. a Frankenstein episode in there. We have eight hours mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. nine or whatever it is. Make yeah. This is tight. basically a movie apiece. Make yeah. that shit tight. Yeah. yeah. Because these, these are long, these are long, these are long episodes. Oh, about an you hour. need yeah. you need Dexter lumberjacking. Wow. <laughs> you really that really bothered you. It's so annoying. It I was annoying. It. Yeah, I this was hate it. each one's in about an hour long. So yeah, we need to. I, I get it. I get what you're saying. Um, but you know, we, I think we have throw a Tide commercial in there. Too. <laughs> Eat up some of that time. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this show, make sure to share it with your friends, other Game of Thrones, uh, other Game of Thrones fans, or uh, people that might be interested in, and in House of the Dragon. Game of Thrones. And, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, send comments below what you think of the episode and uh, what you speculate might be happening. I'm very, very interested in Hugh the Hammer. That's my my number one. Like, and all can't wait to see Big Hugh, Big Hugh, Big Hugh, Big Hugh. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Stay tuned. See you next week. Stay salty. <laughs> <laughs>
all that stuff. Adios. Big Hugh swinging his hammer. Big yeah, man. Hammer. Got a big old hammer. Big Hugh energy. <laughs> big Hugh <laughs> <Big> energy. <laughs> cool.